In this video, we'll learn to read time in hours, half hours, and quarter of hours in analog clocks. This is an analog clock, the one that you hang on the wall. A digital clock is the one you see normally in your phones or alarm clocks. So we'll use an analog clock. As you can see, the clock has three hands. The short one, the shortest one, is the one that shows the hours. So if it's two o'clock, this will show the hours. That is two o'clock. And this is the, the longer hand, is the minutes hand shows how many many minutes past two o'clock this is so this is just one minute past two o'clock at this point that i'm going to show now right on 12 that is two o'clock so this would be two o'clock and if I move this a full circle, the minutes will move as well as the hours. So it is now three o'clock, exactly three o'clock. And again, a full circle for the minutes hand and it goes to four o'clock and then five o'clock and so on. So this gives you the exact hours this gives you the hours and if the minutes hand is on 12 that means it's exactly one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock and so on the red hand is the second so i'll ignore this for the time being it tells you how many seconds passed so we looked at exact hours so reading time in hours that was the two o'clock, three, four, five, or twelve o'clock. Now, half hours. What does that mean? When we move the minutes hand a full circle, that means it is sixty minutes, but because there are sixty minutes in one hour. So as you can see this will move 60 minutes of one full hour so the hours hand move from five to six so that is a full circle which means one hour if i move this minutes hand just half of the circle so from that 12 up to the six this is also half an hour so that six there means half an hour this is the other half so from 12 to 6 it's half an hour so if you see the minutes hand being on 6 that means that in this case it is 6 the hours that is 6 and the minutes is half an hour or 30 minutes so this is half past 6 or 6.30 and this is 7 o'clock now this is 7.30 this is 8 o'clock and this is 8.30 this is 9 o'clock and this is 9.30 so when you see the minutes hand on the six, it means half past. So this is now half past nine. It's past nine, so it's half past nine, half an hour past nine, which is 30 minutes past nine. So that explains half an hour. But what is quarter an hour? Quarter, as we've looked before, when we looked at fractions, half 
looked like this and quarter looked like this so this is a quarter this is a quarter this is a quarter and that is a quarter so quarter an hour is this quarter turn from 12 to the 3 from 3 to the 6 from 6 to the 9 from 9 to the 12 so this is 10 o'clock now on three because this is quarter a turn or quarter an hour we've got quarter past ten quarter past ten so another quarter an hour and then it goes to half past ten now another quarter, and how do we read this? We read this as quarter to 11. So it's close to 11. It's nearly going to be 11 o'clock, but it's not yet, as you can see. It's not yet there. How long does it take? Quarter an hour to get to 11 o'clock. So we need another quarter turn or quarter an hour to get to 11 so we that as quarter to 11 now that was 11 o'clock and it's past 11 it is at this point it is quarter past 11 so past 11 quarter an hour past 11 and here it is half past 11 so it's past 11 as you can see not 12 yet and it is half past 11 and now this is not 12 yet but it is quarter to 12 it is an a quarter to get to 12 a quarter an hour to get to 12 and this is then finally 12 o'clock so We've looked at hours, two o'clock. We looked at half hours. So when it's on six, the minutes hand. So we had half past nine and quarter past 10 and quarter to 11. So a final bit that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show these once more on the clock. So two o'clock. That suggests it's exactly two o'clock, it's just hours, no minutes, and the hours hand goes to two. So I will take the hours and to two. There we go. So two o'clock. Half past nine. So we know it's nine, but it's past it by half an hour so we'll go to nine first so there we go we've got the how the hours hand on the nine that is nine o'clock but it's actually passed by half an hour so that is half an hour and there we have half past nine quarter past ten so it is 10 o'clock but quarter past so there we are this is 10 o'clock now quarter past quarter an hour past the 10 on the three and finally quarter to 11 so it needs quarter an hour to get to 11 so we are on 10 already and that's not in 11 yet but it's got to be just quarter an hour quarter and that's it so not 11 yet it needs quarter an hour to get to 11 o'clock so this is how to read time in hours half hours and quarter hours in analog clocks